first dish that we did was the Tillamook Sharp Cheddar Shreds, which is one of my favorite dishes to do at home. It's a cheddar, sweet potato, and turmeric muffin. Tillamook Sharp Cheddar has been aged for over nine months, and Tillamook Sharp White Cheddar has been aged for over two years. Just loaded with Tillamook cheese, loaded with turmeric, and a lot of sweet potato flavor. It's just a really good moist muffin, and it's got a little bit of spice in it, which is something I really like. This dish is a Tillamook cheddar, sweet potato, and turmeric muffin served with whipped butter. Tillamook cheese is made from only the highest quality ingredients. That means milk from cows not treated with artificial growth hormones. My kids love grilled cheese sandwiches, and I love to think that the adult version of a great grilled cheese sandwich is pimento grilled cheese. It's something that came out of South Texas, but I think everybody around the country is sort of falling in love with it, and it makes great grilled cheeses. This one has fried green tomatoes in it. What we did is we took pimento grilled cheese, loaded it with lots of Tillamook cheddar shreds and just a little bit of the Tillamook jack. It's got a little bit of peppers, it's got a little bit of that spice, and it's got just the right amount of mayo, and it really just sort of melts nicely together with the fried green tomatoes. Nice crispy shell, it's nice and creamy inside, pretty much perfect sandwich. This just is fried green tomato and Tillamook pimento grilled cheese. Something we traditionally do in Los Angeles, I'm sure a lot of cities that have large Latino influences do, is we love to make tamales. Tamales are one of those things that we like to serve to a lot of people, and they're a big crowd pleaser. So what we did instead of trying to make individual little tamales is we came up with a way of making a sort of a one pot casserole dish. So we took some of our beef chili and we laid it at the bottom of the pan and we topped it with lots of the Tillamook sharp shreds. And then we topped it with a masa topping that's traditionally reserved for the outside of the tamale. It's sort of an inside out tamale. And then we topped it with more of the Tillamook sharp cheddar cheese and then we baked it. We finished it off with a couple of simple garnishes and it's a real crowd pleaser. This dish is a tamale pie made with Tillamook cheddar. Tillamook farm style thick cut slices and shreds are thicker, so you get more cheese and more bold flavor in every bite. Around these parts I'm kind of known as the taquito king, and I guess it's because I've really done just about every type of taquito in my restaurants. One of my favorite kinds of taquito, or as they often call them in other parts of the country, rolled tacos, are simple to do. We used some of the Tillamook extra sharp white cheddar chunks and it worked out beautifully. It melted very nicely into our potato and became a great filling. Take the filling and roll them into the tortilla, fry them until they're crispy. And we served it with a little bit of avocado sauce, and some Mexican crema, topped it with a little bit of our cabbage, and voila, you've got a wonderful dish. These are the crispy rolled potato tacos made with Tillamook extra sharp white cheddar chunks. So I've started playing around with this waffle iron and I found lots of really fun things to do with it. One of my things that I've been working on lately is with puff pastry. And what I've done is I've actually lined the inside with some of our Tillamook sharp cheddar slices, put a little bit of ham that we grilled quickly, and a little bit of mustard, mixed in with some tarragon, and swiped the inside with that and baked it until it was absolutely crisp and really becomes sort of almost like a hand pie waffle. Yummy deliciousness can be used for almost anything. This dish is the waffle hand pie made with Tillamook sharp cheddar slices, grilled ham, and tarragon mustard.